Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday morning, January 28th, I believe. We are here at Pala Beach. And I just wanted to show you a little bit out of breath. I've been exercising this morning. They just recently installed all this brand new exercise equipment here at Pala Beach. And uh, it's free to use, free to the public. So it's very nice, you know, come down here in the mornings before breakfast and have a good workout. Several different styles of uh, exercise equipment. And uh, it's all very new and it's all made out of stainless steel. So kind of nice. We normally just come down and do long walks in the morning, but now we have this that's just been opened with all the brand new equipment. And Yin's doing the stretchy walk. But uh, there's upper body, lower body stretches, all sorts of things here. So very nice, very convenient, and free to use. So what's not the love? Lord knows I need the exercise. Getting way too fat. But, uh, huh. which one you want to demonstrate? Okay, do that one. Yeah. Well, that would obviously be upper body and upper back strength. Okay, I'll try this one. I'll get you in to demonstrate all the different equipment that we have here. This one's obviously for leg strength. Because everything's brand new and made out of stainless steel, it should last forever. And then of course they've got good rubber bushings and all the uh, moving parts there. Makes everything Okay, now let's do do this one over here. Show them how this one stretches. Uh, yep, that's just kind of swing. Kind of stretches both of your sides there. Very nice. It's not uh, not too difficult of a exercise, but. Obviously, the longer you keep going, the more muscles you're going to get stretched out. So to me, these are like the the pre-warm-ups if you start here on this end. Okay, baby, try the other stretchy one. So you have that one, the side to side, and this one over here, which I think is really neat. You can twist. Mm -hmm. So basically, you're just getting started here with a lot of stretches. Stretching your body out. Yeah. yeah, and then go to stretch side to side. And you can get your legs legs uh, pumped up a little bit here on this one. And then do some upper body here. And then the next one is the walking. This one's really good for stretching the back of your thighs and your calves. Very good. And you can see all of the motions here on each machine so then after that one we can come over here and work on our gut just a simple incline setup position with a foot lock pretty nice so you're working on lots of different things and of course you have the ski ski machine I'm not sure exactly what we call these but yeah so you're getting arms and leg movement there and it's also kind of like a stair where it goes up and down. And then the final one here, really nice, is like a squats. So you're, you're doing full squat. Baby, try this one over here. I want to show you. This one, I, I just got off of it, and it's a, definitely, I mean, the few pulls, it's like, a, there's nothing to this. It's really easy, but... After you do about 20 or 30 reps, you're like, oh yeah, I'm feeling this. We'll go all the way down. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, there you go. 
So it's basically just pulling yourself up from a squatting position. Really good. You gonna do this one? Of course, I think it's the reason we don't have these in America is because everything's at your own risk, right? You're not gonna be able to sue anybody if you fall off of one of these because you weren't being careful. So that's one of the great things about Thailand. They don't have all the slip and fall lawyers. So, you know, if you get yourself heard, it's pretty much your own fault. You're not gonna get to sue the public parks or anything like that. That was pretty, pretty fluid. So you can see all the moving parts. Again, it's all brand new, but very well made. And look, there's no, no friction. Yeah, very strong. Yeah. I see Yeah. So you ready to take a walk on the beach? Walk and then come back and do some more. So yeah, we used to just come out here and do the walks, long walks. But now we have this great equipment here. It's kind of nice. This is our favorite restaurant down here on the end. What? Oh, today on Wednesday only? Yeah, Wednesday. Not open till lunch? Yeah. Normally they open at 9.30 for breakfast, but yes. it's on Wednesdays they don't open till lunchtime. Yes. Go, baby, go. So normally, yeah, we just come over here and they got this brick walking path. It's all shaded. And you'll see people doing the, the fast walk and some joggers and stuff down here pretty long stretch so so Lizzie Lizzie good girl good girl hey good girl Lizzie's here good girl <laughs> good girl huh good girl yeah good girl <laughs> what are you doing big boy huh yeah okay come on you go walking hmm well, you can see the addition of the exercise equipment over there. And there's a children's playground over here too. So it really adds a lot to the to the park area to have the uh, exercise equipment all brand new over here. So kind of nice. But normally we just come down here and we'll go from this end all the way down to the other end here. You can jog. I, I'm walking. Go, Lily. Go, Lizzie. Go. Go, Lizzie. Go. <laughs> go, Lizzie. Go. Go, Lizzie. Go. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Are you a trickster dog? Huh? Are you a trickster doggy? Come on. So you do get a lot of joggers and stuff down here too. They uh, really come out about every morning and sweep the sand. We've had a lot of strong wind lately. This morning there's very little wind at all, but we've had a lot of strong wind lately. Blowing the sand across the path here. Well, it's just a nice atmosphere to come. Over there, tourists. Tourist service, I know, but I never see anybody there. I'll have to go check that out. Well, again, just a good walking path, great atmosphere, uh, lots of food available down here, and drinks, so you know, you can buy cold water and everything, you don't really have to bring anything with you. Oh my God! What was that? Strong uh, water. Strong waves? Yeah, strong. Okay, I'm going to go walk the boardwalk. Mm -hmm. Whoa, yeah, it's yeah. right up against the wall. High tide this morning. Yeah, the water's high. Oh. 
That is very high, huh? Guys that have seen my videos, we've made a lot of videos down here at Pala. And the beach is under water this morning. There is no beach. Sea is all the way at the seawall. Look at that. The beach is underwater. So yeah, need to start doing more and more exercise now that we have the uh, just outstanding brand new equipment down here. So I can add a lot more exercise other than walking, which is, walking is about the, my main thing, is, is doing a lot of walking if I can. Because my feet are really bad from the neuropathy and uh, can't really run very well because my balance is not not good don't feel very stable running but uh, you know come down here and do a lot of walking and uh, then go hit the exercise machines and then do some more walking so in an hour or two every morning a good workout in maybe I'll start losing some of this weight uh, still cold season here in Thailand here at the end of January Hot season will start in March and then peak in April. So those are the two hottest months, March and April. So even in the mornings, it'll be 85, 90 degrees during the hot season. You know, the lows in the 70s are, are pretty much gone. We do get a few low temperatures, 60 degree Fahrenheit range during the cold season, uh, usually about two weeks in December is the the coldest nights and we're here in south thailand so it doesn't really get that cold we wouldn't even really call it chilly back in america but in northern thailand they can get down in the 40s so that's definitely cold they wear sweaters and coats and sit around the fire and all that up there in northern thailand during uh, december but down here in the south east part of thailand it doesn't get near as cold all right, so we're gonna finish this walk out here and then we'll do a U-turn and walk the road back and check out that tourist center. Be right back. Okay, so I just got to the end of the walking trail. Yen's been playing with the dogs and such along the way, but you can see how far that, that trail is there. It's a, it's a good long walk. I'd say quarter mile. Yeah, I'd say it'd have to be a quarter mile. I don't know how many kilometers. So let's come all the way down here to the end, through the trees, and come out here. And this is uh, like the pull-in entrance to the public public access area. We still have yellow flag for swimming, baby. Still yellow. What is this over here? Like shrine? You take flowers? Uh huh. Shrine. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Very old tree. So in Thai tradition, uh, the older trees are said to have spirits around them. So this is probably the oldest tree in the area, what's left of it. Call it Naklien. Takien. Takien. So, oh, hello. Yeah, it's all the fishermen boats out here. Uh 
all the traditional Thai clothing over here. Not sure what that's all about, but welcome to Pai La Beach. Get lighter. You have to get out of the wind, that lighter's not too good. So in Thai culture, Thais believe in uh, a lot of spirits. Some people would say ghosts, but uh, different spirits around different things. And it's not just like, you know, a myth or a superstition. It's an actual belief. And this ghost is like a woman, right? So the ghost that uh, has something to do with all the old big trees is a female ghost. And you can see they leave yeah, people, earrings people talk for about her. Can something her heal for lottery? Uh? Oh, lottery for luck, number. for lottery. Yeah, for you, you, you win, you keep something or for makeup yeah. for you talk about her. Okay, I think yeah, I, good I luck, choke D, right? Yeah. I give you something for powder for everything for makeup to her. Uh huh. Have makeup. And yeah, have makeup. Earrings. Yes. Yes. And that's for the spirit of yeah, the large you, trees. And they bring. Oh, these are clothes for her. Yeah. Ah, okay. And that from ding, sense. from ding, ding. Yeah, have drinks. Yeah. Big red have. strawberry. Yeah. One of my favorites when I was a yeah. kid. The people have mm -hmm. buy for lottery. So and you can see this is all. Yeah representation of a female spirit that is said to be around old trees. That was a cool landing. I don't know if I caught that or not, but he just beats that sucker. All right, so that's why all this is here. You pay uh, homage or respect to the female spirit of the oldest tree in the area. You bring gifts to her, and this will bring you good luck. And like Yin said, a lot of people will do this before they go buy a lottery ticket. I mean, they take it literally to mean good luck, good fortune. So we're missing the E here on the sign, but you see, welcome to Pala Municipality, Rayong. Rayong is the province, Pala would be not the city, but like a district within the city, a municipality, right? So it's kind of it's kind of different than what we're used to in America because the city that we live in is Banchang, the province is Rayong, but the municipality is Pala. So it's like a sub district of the city. Dolphins? Are they dolphins or sharks? They look oh, like yeah. sharks. Shark. Yeah, they're sharks. Yeah, yeah they're definitely sharks. Oh, dolphin, dolphin over there. Dolphins where? Down there? Down there. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't think uh, I've ever heard of any shark attacks in the Gulf of Thailand. Yeah. They do have them on the east, or I'm sorry, the west coast, which would be the Ottoman Sea, part of the Indian Ocean. But in the Gulf, I mean, I'm sure they have bull sharks, and, but you never hear of an attack in the Gulf. Pretty cool. So that's the the uh, Pala municipality. Look, baby, they have a a run, Pala run. Yeah, you want to buy cold water? Go get us a cold water. So it appears that we have a, a marathon run coming up, uh, first for the LTC, not too sure what the LTC stands for, but in February 2nd of this year, we're going to have a, a run. And so obviously you can go to Facebook here under Pala Run, get the information on that, Facebook at Pala Run. And obviously some sponsors down here. So that's that's interesting. A lot of activities that a person can get involved in in your local communities in Thailand.
these trucks with the loudspeakers are incredible here in Thailand. They they do drive-by advertisement and all sorts of different public announcements and and then you have some that are just playing music here. I don't know if he's selling something or what. We'll check him out here. Some traditional Thai classic music. Yeah, he's selling stuff. Uh, looks like fresh seafood. He's got the scales and everything in there. Yep. And fresh seafood. Just been caught this morning. Buy you some clams and crabs and shrimp and whatnot. So pretty pretty nice how Thai people do, they don't have all the regulations that prevent them from from uh, catching their own uh, seafood and uh, selling it right out here at the park so Yin just went down and got us a couple of bottles of water and found out that they're having a big market here starting at 1 o'clock today so 1 p.m. through tonight they'll have a bunch of vendors down here selling everything from clothes to jewelry to food so I have to come back and check that out bring the GoPro so we're just walking back the way we came from the walking path inside and we're walking past the road what is that for Mm. Every day, two one. So when you get down here on the road entrance, you see all of the beach chairs and umbrellas. You have all these vendors. Uh, you can sit down and uh, they'll bring you a menu, order your food and drinks, whatnot. So it's kind of nice. They're open every day down here. So lots of food options, lots of drinks options. Every Wednesday after. Every Wednesday is the market. Every Wednesday of the month. Every Wednesday of the month is when they have the market. Well, now we know. Never knew that before. Wednesday. Uh, okay, every Wednesday of the month come. So we'll have to check out the Wednesday, Wednesday night market. This guy is selling seafood. Yeah. He's playing music. Right. Wow. Have all kinds of meat, huh? Yeah. Fresh fish. You have everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Selling right out of the truck. Has eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Number 13 is the one sister likes to go to. Yeah, but it's expensive though. Mm. You want to eat breakfast? You can eat breakfast here if you want. Huh? No? Okay. Nom ban ban. Okay, we'll go to Nom ban ban. We have pot rapal. can also rent hammocks down here. String up a hammock. 50 baht. For the day. 
Very quiet down here through the week. We see you have 23 different vendors. Not all of them are open this morning, but 23 different, and they all have their different sections where you sit at the beach. And then you have at the end here, number 23, this is all just primitive, so you can just bring your own chairs and have a picnic or whatever. So, kind of nice that you have all this area that doesn't have vendors too, so you just kind of come down and park and do your own thing. Can't believe how high the water, the high the tide is. So you can look on Facebook, huh, for the... Pala run. run. Next week, I don't know. The second. No, that's this weekend, isn't it? Sunday, I think. Two February second. I think Sunday. So let's go check out this tourist center over here. Ah, I have an old top. I never see anybody in there. Not a big tourist area, which is why we like it. Yeah. Well, we don't come on the weekends very much, so it's probably busier on the weekends. Tourist Service Center. Yeah, there's nobody here, so I see. We have the map. There's Pala School. Okay, so go out. Here's Tisco. Our house is right in here. Somewhere. It's where we live. So we come down here and then we go through the temple. Oh, here's the temple. Yeah, we come down here and go through the temple. And we're right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Pala Beach is really long, and the next one is Pa Yun Beach. Mm -hmm. Over here. Pretty cool map. Mm -hmm. So there's nobody here. But they have, they probably have different events down here because it definitely has a lot of stuff. Is it open? No, it's locked. They have a welcome public relations area. That's locked. And they have Wi Fi. And, yeah, and they have like a meeting room over here. It's probably just a, uh, a weekend thing when they have tour buses and stuff come in. That's what I'm guessing because we don't come down on the weekends when it's really busy. So, so much for the tourist center there. For on, on bicycles. Yeah, a lot of people come down. We can ride the bicycles down here from the house too. For on and his wife. He has a GoPro. Good morning. So that pretty much finishes up the tour. Little playground out here for the kiddos. So a lot of guys talk about, you know, expat life, you move to another country. Uh, a lot of these guys get bored really easy and they end up, you know, going to the bars turn into alcoholics if they weren't already when they moved here but this is the kind of stuff that a person can break the boredom and the monotony by just getting out you know even if we weren't in a beach area there's 
all kinds of these areas all over Thailand with uh, free exercise equipment and you know community activities and events and markets and stuff so you know it's just all about what a person wants to do with their life so that you're not bored to death because you don't speak the language you don't have a lot of social interaction with English speaking people so you know you come you, you do this kind of stuff you, you go walking in the mornings you do some exercising and stop and have some breakfast you know so I think there's a lot of things that can improve the uh, you know the, the, the mental health of expats when they move to a foreign country you know uh, give a shout out to a guy over in Vietnam he's an American expat living in Vietnam similar to me where he's got a, a, a Vietnamese wife and I have a Thai wife so uh, I think he's just recently married but his name's Eli the bike guy you check check out his channel on YouTube if you want to see uh, you know the lifestyle of his expat life in Vietnam and he, he does a lot of bike riding and stuff and so do a lot of guys over here and we have a couple of bikes we need to start doing more bike riding but this is a sub-district municipality government offices but anyway I think that's a key to being happy and content in your second home as an expat is to exercise and get out some, some you didn't know you know for me for the license driving uh -huh. the paper you know man from Nakonayok uh -huh. if you have for your paper you stay in the house ah, we can make here Something I'm not sure. we need to ask are they open we might want to go check because I need that paper okay anyway signing off say goodbye bye bye, bye, -bye. goodbye everyone teacher Thomas Thailand Peace and love to everyone. Have a great day.